Okay, so this video is about what uh, we did the first session. The first session we started up SPSS. Um, uh, in case you did not start SPSS, let me uh, start it from the start. Um, here we go, we have SPSS 24 on this version. So I'm just going to start SPSS 24. It opened up. It takes a little time, so uh, be patient. First thing you're going to see is this window. Uh, as I said in class, just ignore it, close it up. And what we did is we focused on below down here. We have two views. We have the data view and we have the variable view. So basically, uh, the data view is like an Excel spreadsheet where on top you have different columns, as I'm showing you right now. They all show var, 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 meaning that they're ready to be named as variables given them variables like age, gender, and etc. And one, two, three are the def different records. So every time you enter a questionnaire or an interview that you've done, that interview is going to go as a record, yani as a row. Okay? And the different answers you get for the different variables are going to be in the column. Right now we have an, an empty data sheet. There's nothing in there. So let's go to variable view. By clicking on variable view, what you see are the following things. The name, the type, the width, decimal, labels, values, missing. These are the ones that we actually spent time talking about. about the, the others, like columns, alignment, measures, etc., we didn't really spend a lot of time talking about them. First things first. So the first thing is name. That's where you're going to give your variable a name. And for and, and like we start with the first variable, I'm going to call it ID. That's where I'm going to call call it. Um, I'm going to create a variable called ID that identifies the 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 questionnaire or the instrument I'm going to enter. Okay. So ID automatically you can see the type was made into numeric, and automatically it gave it eight widths and two decimals. So what are the poten the possibilities for type? Okay, now if you see this uh, square right there, the blue, you click on it, and then you have a dialog box that's going to open. And under the variable type, we have multiple options. The one that we're going to focus on, besides numeric, of course, we have strings, and strings allow you to enter things like letters. And you can see that when you do that, you can actually change the width that you are allowed to enter. Okay, and the other one is date, and it has many formats of date that you can choose of. Now, let's leave it at numeric. We're going to come back to that in a second. Click OK. All right, so width, decimals. Label is where you're going to give a, a, an explanation of what this variable is. Now, ID has nothing specific, so let's uh, leave it as it is. Now, to explain the little bit of the things we're doing here, let's say you're second variable was gender. So again, I'm going to go in and enter gender. I'm going to leave it as numeric. I'm going to leave the width at 8 as decimals at 2. In fact, let me change them. If, in, for example, gender is actually made of uh, two codes, one and two, one for male and two for female. There is no reason for that to have decimals, so I can make decimals zero. And for the width, I can make it just one, so that I can only enter one number. Okay, one digit number. And here I can explain that this is the gender of the uh, patient, for example, if this is done for a patient. Okay. And under values, that's where you enter your code. So you say one is for male, for example, and two is for female, if this is what you used. Okay, so one for male, two for female, and click OK. Now you've created a way for the computer to know that it's one and two. So one for male, two for female. And let's say if you have not have the if if if, for, if you want to identify that a uh, certain patient uh, did not, we don't have a record of their gender. We have no idea in knowing what their gender is. Well, you can give it a code. Let's say a three, and you can tell the computer every time you read a three consider it as a missing value. So we're going to give it a code, but the computer is going to read it as missing, yani not included in any analysis. And if you want, you can go back to the values, and you can tell the computer that 3 
uh, call it listen, okay? And add and okay, okay? Now, regarding the, the, the name of the variable, there are certain, as we said in class, there are certain things you're not allowed to do. For example, I cannot call it age space one. If I do that, it tells me that there is an illegal character. And there are other illegal characters. I'm thinking maybe dollar is another one. Don't try this. No, actually, it could try. I don't know. Like, well, well, one thing for sure, space is not allowed. So let's uh, say I call it age, and I want age to remain as generic. And I can also explain that this is the age of the patient. And I keep it the same. And let's say I'm going here to enter. Uh, let's say um, my comments. Okay, so I'm, I need to say things about this patient. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the string. And because eight character is not enough, I may make it like 200 characters. And I click OK. And then I hear I, I can explain what I mean by comments. Comments about the patient's health, for example. All right. And I can uh, then understand why I have a comment variable. Notice that uh, the measures are left as, unknow as unknown. You can specify them to be scaled for the numeric one. And the options you have are scale, ordinal, or nominal. Uh, for anything that is a number, I would advise you to put it as scale because it will allow you to do things. Um, that will not be allowed in other situations. So, uh, in summary, this is up. We're setting our data. We've created four variables, the ID, the gender, the age, and the comments. Now, let's look at the data view and see what happens. If you click on data view, you can see now the first four columns changed from var into ID, gender, age, and comment. And then you have a little icon telling you the type of the variable. And so you can start entering data. So it's, for example, the first ID one, the gender. Remember, gender is not male and female. The way you're going to enter it is one and two. So it's a man, ages, let's say, uh, 32. And I'm going to say something like uh, no comments. I can write whatever I want. And if I want, I can make it a bit wider like this. All right, now notice how gender appeared as one because that's how I entered it. If I want to see the code right there, this icon, the, the arrow pointing one and A, if you click on it, then the one is going to take the code that you gave it. In the computer, it still stays as one, but you see it as male, okay? Right, click it again, you see one, click it again, you see male, okay? So the second ID, two, let's say it's a female, she is uh, 25, and I have nothing, I'm going to leave the comment empty. The third ID, it's also a female, and she's 55, and let's say uh, skipped her medication. And uh, ID four is, let's say, a male, and he is uh, 34, and let's say I'm going to say he is um, uh, stressed, okay, and ID five, let's say, is again a male, and I don't have the age, so I'm, I'll just show you that you don't have to enter, okay, you can leave it empty. Last thing, I'm going to have the number six, and I'm going to give it an ID code of three. And let's say the age was 44. And I can put in the comment, um, uh, let's say that on uh, um, meds. Okay. Done. And again, I can come back and click on the value label, it changes. Um, one, two, and notice how the three now appears as missing because that's how I made it. And I think this is ex this is basically what we did the first uh, time we worked on SPSS. If you want to save what you just did, you need to go to File and you need to Save As. And um, for example, you can save it on the desktop. You give a name to that file and you save it as you leave it as you can see the type of the file is dot sav so sav 
is a file type that is read by 